Lawrence Dale Bell, the head of the corporation, accepted the request and started working on three prototypes. At the time, the project was kept under extreme secrecy. Only a few members of the company knew about it. To get away with the construction of the first American fighter jet, the parties involved launched a disinformation campaign. As part of it, the United States Army Air Forces named the project P-59A, suggesting it was an extension of the separate Bell XP-59 fighter project, which had already been cancelled. Almost every element of the project was mislabeled to confuse German and Japanese spies should they get a hold of any information. General Electric continuously talked about the engine it was working on as a spare part. The design for the fighter jet was completed on January 9, 1942. Construction began immediately, and the three prototypes were built by March. The XP-59A, Lawrence Dale Bell, also known as Larry Bell, hated flying, despite being an aviation executive. He assigned management of the project to his chief test pilot, Robert M. Stanley. Despite Stanley's reticence to take over executive duties, he led the project for the company, and the first prototype was shipped to a test site few had ever heard of before. Moroc Army Airfield was rarely used, hidden between the San Bernardino Mountain and the Shadow Mountain in California. The name of the field was a reversal of the name Corum, the last name of the two brothers that initially lived in the area. The site was remote enough to keep the progress of the project in absolute secret, and additionally facilitated takeoff and landing due to the dry, hard surface of the Lost Rogers Lake. Engineers, technicians, and mechanics were sent to Los Angeles in 1942, unaware that their transfer was going to place them in the remoteness of the California desert. The first XP-59A to arrive got to the airfield on September 12, 1942. It was sent to California by train and took seven days to arrive at Morocco. 